Hey guys, this is Miss Nelson. And Miss Hall. And today you guys are going to be learning about geometric concepts. So what that means is you are going to be doing um, algebraic equations with geometric concepts. So you have to remember some characteristics about your shapes. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, we know that the angles within any triangle always add up to be 180 degrees. Okay, and any quadrilateral, which is a four-sided four -sided shape, always add up to be 360 degrees. Okay, so you need to know that because that is important whenever we build um, our equations. So let's jump into number one. It says an architect is designing the pitch of a roof for his new client. His blueprint of the roof is shown below. Find the value of X, then determine the angles at which the roof must be built. Okay, so we have several things we're going to do. We need to solve for X, but then we need to go back and apply what we know for X um, and actually find the measurement of each angle. So, we know that all angles in a triangle equal 180. So, I'm going to start there. I'm going to say that 8X plus 8X plus 29X all equals 180. Okay, so I'm going to come over here to the side and I'm going to start combining things. I know that 8 and 8 is 16, so 16 plus 29, and I get 45. So I have a total of 45 X's and they equal 180. Okay, so just like going back to your equations, to get the X by itself, we divide. And 180 divided by 45 is 4. So each one of these X's in here is a 4. Okay, so X equals 4. So to figure out the angle measures, I need to come over here and do the operations that it asks. So for example, this angle says 8 times 4. Well, I know 8 times 4 is 32. And I have two of them that are 32. So my angles are 32 degrees, 32 degrees, and now I need to multiply my 29 times 4, and I get 116 for this top angle right here, okay? Okay, now Nicole is planning to build a garden as a birthday present to her mother, give to her mother. She wants the garden to be shaped like a parallelogram. Two of the angles within the garden are 104 degrees. The other two angles measure, measure 76 degrees. And 25x plus 1 degree and are congruent. Find the value for x. First of all, what does congruent mean? Congruent means they are the same. So we know that um, parallelogram, we're gonna, we have four angles. So um, if you need to draw a picture, if that helps you, then go ahead and draw a picture. It may not be to scale, but we know that um, our angles, 104 degrees, they would be our larger ones, our obtuse, they're, they're more than 90. So then we know these ones opposite here are 76 and 25X plus one, okay? So let's come over here and write our equation. So we know all the, four of these angles add up to be um, 360. So we have um, 25X plus one, plus 104, plus 76, plus 104. I just started here and went around, and we know all that equals 360. I need to get back there, okay? So we're going to add all these up. So I have 104 plus 104 plus 76 plus 1. So 10, so that's 15, carry my 1, 8, and 2. So I have 25x, oops, I don't want to write that, sorry. 25x plus 285 equals 360. Okay, so now think about solving our equations. I'm going to subtract. I want to get this 25x by itself. So I'm going to subtract 285 from both sides. That cancels each other out because there's zero pairs. I'm going to borrow. Okay, 
So now I have 25x equals 75. I'm going to divide both sides by 25. X equals 3. So x equals 3. Now I can write that there. And what was it asking? Oh, it was asking for the value of x. There is another way you could have solved this as well. We know that 25 plus 1, x plus 1, and 76 are equal. So you could have gone there and just solve that equation as well. You can go ahead and solve it on your own and see that you um, get the same value for x. Okay, so number three says, use the figure below to write an equation for the sum of the angles within the quadrilateral, then determine the measure of angles L and M. Okay, so I know, again, it is a four-sided shape, so my total is going to be 360. So I'm going to just write all these, I'm going to add them all up, and they're going to equal 360. So I'm going to have 93 plus 76 plus 14x minus 7 plus 11x minus 2, and all of that equals 360, okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put all my numbers together first, okay? So I have my 93, I have my 76, I have a negative 7 and a negative 2. So if I add negative 7 and negative 2, I get a negative 9. So I'm going to put that over there because in a minute I'm going to have to combine it with these. So. I have 93 plus 76, okay, that's 9, so I have 169, and then I'm going to take away the 9 from the negatives, which leaves me with 160. So I have 160 plus 14x plus 11x equals 360. So I'm going to add my x's. Since I have all x's, I'm going to put them all as one big group so it's easier to work with. So I have 160 plus 14x plus 11x gives you a total of 25x, and that still equals 360. So now you solve, subtract 160, that zeroes out. I get 25x equals 200, divide by 25, so x equals 8, okay? So it did not want to know what x equals, but we had to do it in order to find the um, angle L and M. So now angle M is right here. So I'm going to go and I'm going to plug the 8 in there. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to show my work. So I have 11 times 8 minus 2, which is 88 minus 2, which gives me 86. So the measure of angle M is 86 degrees. Okay, if I come over here, same thing, I'm going to plug 8 in here. So for L, I have 14 times 8 minus 7. 14 times 8 is 112. So 112 minus 7 is 105. So angle L is 105 degrees. And make sure you put the degrees because we are talking about angles. Okay, come to class with any questions you might have. Bye.